Hello, and I have my Camp NaNoWriMo t-shirt on. I'm so excited. Um, I have printed out um, Master Story Planning Worksheet. It's the combination of Larry Brooks' story structure and um, from StoryFix.com and Story Engineering and Blake Snyder's Beat Sheet from Save the Cat. have it printed out. I also have the Excel version on my computer. I have been going through and doing um, the scene and sequel. I went I'm going through actually one of Jim Butcher's books and going through and looking at how he sets it up. And I have my writer's Bible, y'all. I do. Um, let's take the pen out. I have it all set up. Here's the first notebook, which is my general ideas. Okay, here's the second notebook, which is um, character stuff right here. All the character arc stuff, and this new one right here um, is backstory. And this one is actually my outline. As you can see, I'm doing what well, would be the seven point structure I'm in the middle of outlining and I also have a little place in here for shiny new ideas and they're somewhere I want to say it might be actually in this purple one um, yep there are my shiny new ideas um, and I'm I, 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 I love Oh God, the leather. My whole writing room smells like this leather. And just so you have an idea, I'm not going to do a what's in your bag. I had to go through all of my bags to see which bag would actually match, semi-match my, um, my writer's Bible and um, the passport size that I'm using as a wallet. And once you open it up, See, I have money in there. I have my $5 off coupon for Dollar General tomorrow because I get my cleaning supplies and my washing detergent, stuff like that. Here's the cute look book that didn't show up before that she added in there. My Starbucks rewards card. My Walgreens card because I go to Walgreens quite a bit. My Janelle card. Some odds and ends in that that's a picture of my father that's his driver's license from the 70s my father died when I was seven in 1975 um, some my other cards my library card my Sally's Beauty because I am attempting co-washing and today it is rainy and um, just yuck outside and I've already went outside twice I checked the mail because my NaNoWriMo t-shirt came in today I put it on for the video. I'm actually going to take it off and I'm going to go wash it. Um, I have errands to run. I am going to pick up my daughter and we are going to go run a couple of errands. We're going to have some lunch and we're going to go grocery shopping. And I get to spend some time with her. I'm really excited about that. Um, and uh, I'll be back. Um, I will probably post a video later about um, the rest of my outlining process for character arc and for plot. Um, like I said, I'm in the middle of doing that. Once I get the seven um, point structure completely outlined, I will continue on and do the bigger part of the outline. I only do main points. I mostly do chapters. I do a little bit of scene, but I'm going to try really hard to do what Jim Butcher has laid out for the scene and sequel. At least for each chapter, one basic big one. I don't know that I'll do each scene that way and an outline. I'm going to write it that way, but I don't know that I will actually be outlining it that way. I'm not a real big outliner. I'm more of a loose outliner, a plotster. So doing the seven point st structure outline and um, some of the core big ones from um, the other I think are more than enough for me. I'm trying to um, to stay with the character arc part of outlining and the actual main part for the plot. And there goes my phone again. <laughs> so 
Um, I need to remember to silence it when I'm recording a video, but hey, we're starting the NaNoWriMo, Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs, so I'm not editing, and I hope you have a great one. I love this Camp NaNoWriMo t-shirt. It happens to be my very favorite. It is a little long. I ordered a size bigger. I've lost some weight since I had surgery, um, but I'm not buying anything yet because I go to the doctor Tuesday, and once he clears me, I'm going to start walking um, in the neighborhood. I'm going to try to walk a mile um, at least three to four days a week to start with. Um, I am determined to lose some weight. Don't see any point in um, doing anything uh, major. I've lessened my portion size. I'm trying to eat healthier. I don't really want to cut out everything completely because then I'd have to start getting those skinny white chocolate mochas from Starbucks, you know, not whole milk, and they don't taste the same. So anyway, um, my only like real, I eat dark chocolate, I eat probably an ounce a day, and that's because it has antioxidants in it, and I try to not eat a lot of junk food. I'm not a real big cookie person unless they're homemade and they're still warm. Um, I'm not a real big, like, I like potato chips with my sandwich. I usually, when I make a sandwich, like I'll make a tuna fish sandwich and I'll have like a little bit of chips and a pickle and a glass of sweet tea. I am going to start switching up my tea and doing half Splenda or Stevia and half regular sugar so that it's not quite so much regular sugar. <coughs> Excuse me, but other than that, I'm not really trying to go all out dieting. I'm just trying to little by little improve things because I'm just not happy with me. And I know um, part of the weight, the immediate weight loss was because I got rid of the tumors. Um, but this, the rest of this weight loss is pretty much from a lack of activity from when I had the tumors because it was so uncomfortable. So I'm used to being at least one size, two sizes smaller than I am now. So this is just not quite comfortable for me. Um, and I just want to change things up and be healthier. So NaNoWriMo, I'm getting prepared. I'm working on it, working on my outline. And I just, once again, I love my writer's Bible. I mean, I don't know that it's going to come up, but there. Look at that typewriter on there that she hand carved. I mean, how gorgeous is that? When she does her work, this is all hand done. The leather, um, she hand dyes. The carving, it's hand done. She makes sure when she does these that um, I like how she does this. Because you have, they're my little jewels. These are bookmarks. And as you can see, I have them in this one too. And this is the trifold. And like I said, and you're not really going to catch the blue in this. I mean, I wish you could, but the lighting in in here just it it really sucks. And this is in, in no way, shape, or form getting how beautiful these are in in person. I mean, there's there's just no way. So, um, but I'm out of here. I have to go pick up my daughter and run errands and I'll be back and I hope you guys have a great one. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to um, Brie May for 500 subscribers, for Tamara for um, a great giveaway. I won her giveaway and I won an ebook and um, I'd also like to give a shout out to Julie who I won her big giveaway from her um, blog and she had the, it was amazing. That's where I got these little, these little tabs. And they are adorable. Um, and on my Buteo bunker, I put the charm that I, I won. Um, there's also a little coffee paper clip. It's pink. It has a little heart. It is absolutely adorable. Um, and I just, 
I need to go back to art journaling. I haven't art journaled at all this week. I've been writing and outlining and I'm a little bit stressed out because I'm, I'm almost finished with it. I'm getting it done. But I think today when I get home, I will be art journaling to relieve some of that stress. So hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you soon. I'm Camp Dan O'Rimo, guys. Don't forget to sign up.